Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your daily tarot reading. It will be for Thursday the 25th of March 2021 for all signs. So as always, because I'm saying all signs, it won't be for everybody. It won't resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates with you. Okay, so what do we have? What do people need to hear please the most for Thursday the 25th? Just one card please. Thursday the 25th of March 2021. I've got in the near future. Any other message or advice? Thank you. Anything else to go with in the near future? Okay, two cards. I've got recovery and helpful people. So recovery can be to do with health. It can be to do with relationships in whatever context. It can be financial. So, but I like this energy of maybe there's somebody of influence who is helping the recovery, somebody helping you. Okay. What do we have, please? What is the message for March the 25th, 2021? All signs. Daily tarot reading, thank you. What is the message people need to hear? I've got death. devil temperance well, three major arcana in a row <laughs> this is big change oh my goodness the wheel of fortune two of swords seven of cups bottom of the deck we have the four of cups I'm going to clarify that Four of Cups. Let me just pull one more card. Knight of Coins. Okay. Wow. So the Death and the Wheel of Fortune. Something has ended or is ending there's definitely an energy of the phoenix rising here you know there's a feeling of something's run its course uh death can be about endings transition change but it's generally a cleansing energy a purifying energy uh, out with the old in with the new shedding of an old skin in order to rise in your own light once more or reveal the new you know it's that that period of transition the death energy where something ends and something new begins and that's what the wheel of fortune is is all about that transmutable energy endings and beginnings life cycles it's good luck good fortune expansion growth uh There's a feeling of meant to be energy here. Things are meant to happen the way they're meant to happen. And I definitely get this energy of there's some kind of turning point available to you. Because we have the wheel is turning in your favour. Yes, something has ended, but the wheel is now turning in your favour, even though you can't see it. And the devil is, it feels in this, the devil represents instability. Yes, it can be to do with relationships in whatever context, in whatever area, um, unhealthy relationships, but it's also about unhealthy boundaries and the opportunity to even though you can't see the way out of how to release from limiting something that feels limited, some kind of shadow energy that is limiting you from moving forward. It definitely feels in this energy it's coming. Divine timing, divine orchestration, things happening when they're meant to happen. You know, the Two of Swords is just... I don't, I don't see the way forward. I don't see. I feel powerless. I don't know how to break free of this attachment. I don't ha know how to 
break free of this difficult cycle that I'm in. But the message is that the cycle is, is definitely, there's definitely a cycle that's ending. Even though you don't see it and the new is beginning, is the new is beginning. And it's something to, it is definitely to do with divine timing. There's a feeling in this situation on the cards on the table, certainly these cards are feeling powerless, a feeling things are beyond your control and you don't know how to, to, to deal with it, how to grab hold of it, how to take control of it because you can't, because you're not meant to, because it's divine timing, divine orchestration. Um, things happening when they're meant to happen. But the message here is things are going to turn in your favour. So, yeah, you might have felt stuck in this, in this period of instability or feeling things beyond your control, powerless. Just feeling like a puppet on a string, you know, bending to the whim of whatever external, you know, forces are pulling you in. You know, it's that kind of energy. But there's definitely an energy if something is turning in your favour now and it's going to happen. Because we have the temperance energy and the seven of cups. Patience. Because there's definitely this energy of your hopes, dreams and wishes. You have more options than you realise. There are your hopes, drops, hopes, dreams and wishes are around you. There is potential here. There's the promise of something wonderful here coming your way. But it might well be for some of you that there's some patience. But also getting balance back in your life and how to find the way through what has been a very extreme situation. And find your flow once more. Because, you know, the, the temperance energy... It feels like you've been grappling with something that has been, I mean, you know, I talked about these major arcana, which are the major, major influences in our lives. The minor support the major, the minor are more tactical, but the, the major arcana are big influences. And we've got four major arcana here. So it's almost kind of like you've been dealing with something, uh, the, trying to move from the old towards the new and almost kind of like feeling trapped in the middle, you know, uh, not being able to see the way forward. And the temperance energy is, no, this is that point where you are finding the balance and you're just beginning to find the flow, see the way forward to the new horizon, to the new path, um, to new hopes, dreams and wishes. So there's, there's definitely beautiful energy with that Seven of Cups. Uh, it can be to do with choices, Can also sometimes be a little bit of a confusion energy as well. You know, again, I don't. I, there's a lack of clarity in some respects. Uh, the hopes, dreams, and wishes are there, but there's a level of, of patience. Just keep on adapting, doing what you do, because for some of you, the guided energy of things happening where they're meant to happen, the offer, the opportunity is coming. Um, it's a lovely energy, the Four of Cups. It can be somebody offering you something. Um, and it's manifesting in the Knight of Coins, Knight of Pentacles, which is an opportunity of getting back on track. Now, the Knight of Coins, yes, it can be career financial opportunities, bringing change, job offers, business opportunities, contracts, uh, new business, I mean, call it what you will. You know, the Knight of Coins is a great energy in terms of money and career. So if you've struggled in terms of instability to do with money and career, this is about be patient, just keep on adapting to what you're doing. You are finding the balance whether you know it or not. You're bringing balance back to what has been an unstable situation. And the new is definitely coming your way, even though you don't see it. Um... And again, this Four of Cups energy, you'll be nudged in a specific direction. There's definitely an energy of some kind of opportunities opening up. It feels that there are opportunities open to you, but your intuition is leading you to a specific opportunity. And I feel it's, it's tying in with this Knight of Coins energy. So it feels very good in terms of money and career, I have to say. 
it just feels like the change is coming. Finally, the change is coming. Finally, there's the turning point. And it, 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 it won't happen any faster or any slower than it's meant to happen. It happens exactly when it's meant to happen with the Wheel of Fortune. So there's an interesting energy of maybe there's somebody around you who is helping you, who has helped you through a very difficult situation. Um, or will do, you know, or will do, because it says in the near future, the recovery is coming. So there's definitely, it feels like financial recovery in the next, in the near future. And there may well be somebody who is helping uh, fuel that happening. Who is the, the catalyst for change, who is helping you towards the change that is now manifesting in the night of coins. So it feels very beautiful. Um, but it does feel like there's been a challenging time for some of you. But nevertheless, the good fortune is coming. Uh, things are beginning to turn in your favour. Things that seem to be beyond your control. It definitely feels in this energy where you just couldn't see how you were going to get out of this situation, you couldn't see any hope, you couldn't see the way forward, you couldn't get into your flow. There's definitely the energy of the new energy is coming in. Powerful, powerful reading for somebody. Final message, please. Final message for the day. Don't give up. Uh, yeah, the Four of Cups can sometimes be to do with apathy. Um, so there's definitely an energy of don't give up. You know, it, it's an energy of the divine nudge. You need to take action. Keep on doing what you're doing because your hopes, dreams and wishes are out there hanging out there, waiting to be anchored. So there is some kind of like patience or adapting or balance that needs to be achieved here. But there's definitely an energy of finding the way forward towards this Knight of Coins. So yeah, there's definitely this energy of don't give up. Don't get lost in that devil energy, you know? Yeah, you see, moderation. Uh, is there something you know you shouldn't be eating? Try to eat mindfully and healthily, although the fairies say a little bit of it you fancy is fine. Yeah, I mean, it is that, it's that moderate approach. It's just, it feels like there has been some kind of extreme situation here, either extreme emotions or extreme, you know, this, this, being caught between two worlds and not finding progress, you know, it, it, it feels that kind of energy and not seeing the way forward. And I definitely get here that there is some opportunity here, hanging out there in the ether, manifesting in a solid opportunity or offer. So some fi it feels like financial recovery here. Yeah. Celebration. Get ready to let your hair down and celebrate. It's time to go out, dance and play. An invitation could be on its way. Yeah. This is just stay in that zone of temperance, of moderation. Temperance is moderation. It is not letting one emotion or another emotion or one situation or another situation pull you in, in opposite directions. It is just staying in that middle ground and finding that way through. Uh, we have wisdom. Have you ever heard, been told you're wise beyond your years? Now is the time to call upon your inner fairy wisdom to help you with a challenge. Yeah. I definitely feel in this energy. I mean, we've got celebration here as well. It is definitely, it's coming. Just stay in your balance as much as possible because there's definitely something being manifested here, even though you might be feeling like you want to give up. Uh, the message is, 
almost kind of like it's, as soon as you're feeling like that, the opportunity is coming your way in the near future. And there could be somebody of influence who is helping part of this recovery. The Knight of Coins is, always, is about getting back on track. Um, and definitely this energy of the good luck, good fortune. Yes, something has ended, but something new is about to begin. But it comes when it's ready to. Not before and not, not too soon, not too later, but absolutely right on time. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful day for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.